Hello everyone, I'm Mauro Di Donna and I'm presenting a preliminary analysis on Prisma Pan Sharpening. Hyperspectral imaging is an emerging field which tries to process not only the spatial information about the scene, but also the spectral one through the collection of the electromagnetic spectrum from the visible to the near infrared wavelength. Let's introduce deep learning. In the last years, the introduction of deep learning has brought incredible advancements in a variety of fields. Deep learning uses models, namely neural networks, which learn input-output relations through the use of large datasets. Currently, deep convolutional neural networks are widely exploited in imaging problems for three main reasons. First, there is the possibility to exploit the context information, hence to perform a better future extraction through the convolutional operation. Second, there is the possibility to extract complex patterns as it goes deeper into the architectures, through hints by combination and composition of simple features. And last, there's the lower number of parameters to optimize compared to classic fully connected neural networks. Here on the right, we have examples of some filter extracted after training of a neural network on image advancements. Hypersharpening is a process which aims to improve the spatial resolution of the hyperspectral data, combining the high resolution panchromatic image and the lower resolution hyperspectral one. The result has the high spatial resolution of the pan image and the high spectral resolution of the hyperspectral one. In classical methods, the Swiss bands were not effectively reconstructed since the panchromatic band does not contain information of the Swiss spectral range, hence sometimes artifacts were introduced. Currently, data-driven deep learning models, which are based on large and representative training datasets, uh, implicitly exploit semantic information, hence are able to uh, allow the sharpening of bands that are not represented in the, in the spectral response. So, thanks to the mentioned characteristic, we decided to start investigating the use of deep learning algorithms for, for prism hypersharpening, and we simulated that dataset uh, using higher spatial resolution of spectral data, namely Aridis, to obtain low resolution of spectral data and panchromatic band to be used as input, and high resolution of spectral data to be used as output. Here there is the dataset generation scheme. From the original Aviris data, which has 224 bands, through a series of spectral and spatial resampling, we obtain the panchromatic band, the low resolution of spectral data, and high resolution of spectral data. These types of architectures usually have panchromatic band and low spatial resolution of spectral data as inputs. We adopted a trifurcated network with inputs, veneer bands, Zwift bands, and the panchromatic band. The network has also additional outputs which help convergence in the minimization of the loss function. So we don't have only the hypersharpened output, but we also have additional output, which, serve, which uh, serves two main functions. They let the backpropagation back starts also from the first layer, hence to avoid uh, uh, vanishing gradient problems. And this makes possible to better adjust the parameters of the first layers. Here there are some results. The first line shows the result of a veneer band around 500 nanometers, and the second the result on a Zwir one around 1700 nanometers. From left to right, we have lower resolution of a spectral band, the panchromatic band, the prediction, and the truth. Here there are other results. On the first line, there are, from left to right, the hypersharpened cube prediction and the spectral reference cube, the truth. On the second line, from left to right, there are the zoom of low resolution of a spectral input, the panchromatic image, the high resolution of a spectral output in natural RGB, and high resolution of a spectral reference in natural RGB. However, there are some problems. In some Swift bands, the noisy ones with very low values, the reconstruction is sometimes not good, maybe because their error do not contribute much to the loss function because of course of, of uh, their low values. Some solutions are currently under investigation using different weight in loss function for each band depending on its min max value, removal of noising and overlapping bands, and change architecture and or loss function. In conclusion, the use of deep learning models for hypersharpening is very promising because of the capabilities of neural network to capture spatial and spectral dependencies. Some works have been done in the last years, but the field is relatively new. Although the performance on some Swift bands are poor, the results are, on the whole, quite promising. We plan to try new architectures and, finally, apply the developed model on a real Prisma data to verify its effectiveness. Thank you for your attention.